You know, Pennsylvania and Schuylkill County is really fortunate to have so many different types of wildlife. And I'm talking about animals, from reptiles, amphibians, to mammals, you've got it. We've got a lot here. And that's because we have different types of habitats, from wetlands to ridge tops. Well, we're going to talk about, in this talk, we're going to talk about the way animals prepare for winter. Well, you can see right here, I have a turtle shell. Now, you know what happens is, during summertime, uh, reptiles, like turtles, when it gets really, really hot, they do something called estivation. That means they go in like a pond or a small lake into the mud and they stay cool until it gets a little bit more reasonable. But during the winter time, and because their, well, their, their body temperature is dependent on what the air temperature is, and you know if it gets pretty cold here in winter time, well, they, they do hibernate. They do, well, something similar to that. They go to places where they kind of like in a state of suspended animation. And the snapping turtle is just one type of turtle that does that. Snakes do that, all that. Now I heard a story, and I'll never forget this. Somebody told me they had found a frozen black rat snake. It was solid as a stick of wood. Well, they put it in their trunk of their vehicle. They forgot about it. Well, three days later, after the vehicle was inside a garage and it was warm in there, uh, they went inside their trunk for some other reason, and lo and behold, there's the black rat snake moving. Now, you got to say, that is astounding to see that is possible there. Well, here we have that. Now, you may have seen, unfortunately, skunk dead along the road. It's kind of like during springtime. You can always tell in late winter and early spring when it's late winter and early spring because of the skunks moving about and unfortunately they, they become, uh, well, accidents. Uh, the vehicle comes by and boom. So uh, the striped skunk at this time of the year, it's getting a lot of grubs. And usually what will happen is They'll sleep some, they wake up some, they sleep, they wake up. It, it all depends on the weather. Uh, I've seen them in uh, late January during the eventual January fall. But they're digging up grubs in your yard, and a lot of times you'll see the diggings that they would have in your yard. So, but that's telling you something about your yard, that you've got grubs in your lawn, and they're actually doing you a favor in that regard. Now, during December, and when it's very, very cold, owls are in a family way. And there's an owl called a barred owl. And the barred owl, well, like owls, their sense of smell is, well, let's put it this way, skunks don't bother them. But skunks are high on their menu, and owls will eat them. And they eat them quite well with no problem. Here is the groundhog. Oh boy. I just found out that Groundhog Day in Puxatawney Phil is going to go virtual for next year. They want to control the number of people in a large crowd, and it really has gotten crowded over there at Punxsie uh, for Groundhog Day. But this groundhog has seen its day. It's actually one of the first critters that I've gotten many years ago uh, when I worked as a ranger with the Girl Scout. But uh, the uh, groundhog is also known as Grunsau, woodchuck, and Native Americans call them whistle pig. But if you've seen a groundhog, you know, like around Thanksgiving, well, you'll see a groundhog that looks pretty chubby. And they eat a lot. And they need that because they do hibernate. And for them to come out around Groundhog Day on February 2nd, well, frankly, that's a bit early for any self-respecting groundhog. Usually by St. Patrick's Day, middle of March, that's when you'll see groundhogs moving about. So uh, these little critters here, oh boy, and how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck woodchuck wood? 
All right, and lastly, we have, and this is a real skeleton of a little brown bat. And uh, I know where I live, there's a bat house on our property. And oh boy, uh, there's, there's bats in there. And they are true hibernators. Now, to let you know if a bat is residing in a bat house, just look on the ground and you can see bat scat. I like to call it that, you know. But bats are very, very helpful, especially during the summertime, in controlling the population of a number of critters, uh, namely mosquitoes. And, well, it's a good way to control the mosquito population, especially in light of West Nile virus. So, these are just a handful of local wildlife that we have around us, and as they prepare for winter, and eventually, It'll turn into spring and it'll be a whole nother year.